Hey, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark, and I make Minecraft videos, apparently. We're back at Turtle Beach. If you don't know where we are, you missed the world tour, so go back and watch the last episode. For anyone who picks up on little small details, you might notice I've lost 32 levels. Basically, I just left out a certain ending to last episode, which you'll see now, and I'll see you later. Oh. My. God. I'm really, really not used to when I flip my camera on like this. I couldn't work out to start flying again. I panicked and I died. So that's fun. I currently don't... You waited until I press record to meow. I don't really have... Apparently I've not got a voice. I'm going to do some little quality of life improvements. We're going to talk about other things I want to do and then possibly talk about much larger projects I have coming up and where I would like to do them. And then... And then taking some ideas of what might actually be fun to watch. I think I'm also going to throw in today how to make my banner. I've always really liked how it turned out when I actually made it. And I think it would look great if you guys knew how to make it. And then you could actually show me it in your world. I really like the retro wave kind of style. The kind of highway going into the rising sun. I think it looks class. Am I misremembering my own world? I really feel like there was something here. Maybe it was this tree. Have I deforested this area and forgot about it? I need gunpowder. Switch to your sword after firing the boat. Get the benefits of looting. Yeehaw. I hear phantoms. Oh my god! I actually jumped out of my chair. That scared me so much. Whoa. I am just waiting for the day that I come down here and there's a mob down here. As far as I can tell, it should be light enough down here, but I, I'm waiting. I'm going to come down. There's going to be a creeper and my whole life is going to end. I do have more plans for this room up here. So what I was going to do is turn in here to more chests. I don't have enough loot for that. I just don't have enough items. So it was completely pointless. I'm not even filling all the chests downstairs. So then I was going to turn it into some kind of furnace system. And obviously this, this is not what we want to happen. I do have an idea in my creative world for something more high techy, but still very low tech because I'm the one who made it. I'll show you that in a wee bit. I really like using the different glass here. It's not exactly a super smelter because I'm limited with just how smart of a human being I am, but it gets the job done. Much better. Don't know about you, but I hate having a cluttered inventory. So I had an idea of kind of what I want to do. It's one of those things, you don't know what it'll look like until you've actually done it. So I'm going to give it a try. I think up here might look quite cool if instead of having the carpet as the floor, we replace it with glass blocks so that way we can see everything underneath us. I've got this and then this should... Aha, okay. But I think I... Oh, I covered in the roof. Okay, that might already put an end to it. Not completely. It's just a lot more work than I was thinking of. Would it look cool? It might look cool. I'm going to do a little bit and I will come back when I... I'm, I'll do half of it and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Then we'll decide what we want to do. Sound good? Sounds great. I actually really quite like how that looks. I'm going to do the other half now. And then I think we're going to have to take up the ceiling by one because that's a completely unnecessary block. But I think that looks really cool. I'll show you it from up top. I think once down there has other stuff in it as well, I think it'll look really, really nice. Obviously, once this is going and there's a stuff on all other four walls, I think here will be really cool. I also like how it just blends in as well. It's almost as if you're not walking on anything, which I think will be a really cool effect. In my creative world, you might have actually seen these pillars are made out of quartz. I didn't have that much when I built this, so I made it out of dark wood. And then the only problem would be we wouldn't have pillars like that if we made this out of quartz to fit the aesthetic. That might be something to think on. But yeah, I will see you when this is all done. I wonder if I can make him look like a parrot. He's a parrot cat. 
I think it's very subtle. I think it is just enough that it looks really good. My next plans will be to get rid of maybe both of these here, the hanging down, or maybe replace it with like a half slab, just so it's not a completely dead stop under the ice. But overall, I think that is quite a nice quality of life improvement. I'm going to start taking down the ceiling. We're gonna get rid of the two blocks and then put up half slabs. Keep some kind of separation from the outside world, but also just make it not look too chunky. I think that's the best way to go about it. Where are the, so if I destroy this, it isn't the outside, but this is because that's where the water goes down. There will be one, one block over. So there'll be one behind here. Yes. Half slabs would make it look weird. Well, actually no, it wouldn't. I would just have to be very quick with the destroying of the ice and then placing a half slab. That is nerve wracking. That is terrifying. I kind of hope I can do it. I've just heard a witch and a spider and a bat. There is something terribly bad beyond that wall. And currently, I'm not prepared to go check it out because I'm in the middle of a project and I can't be bothered getting killed. So that's on the checklist of things to be doing. This is how I want the roof to look. Up until, yeah, so up. I'm current, like I'm building this on the fly and we all know that is a recipe for disaster. So it'll be something like that. So under here, when you look down, it won't be chunky. So when you look down and you see those two, it's pretty wide. It's a large boy. This looks nice and sleek. <sighs> Water is going to fly out of this. And that gives me the fear. What can it destroy? So I have to destroy it, switch, but, but not up there, on like there. Wish me luck. I can't believe it. Now only to do that another... 20 or so times. Also, now that you've seen that, I don't think that's probably going to be the most exciting thing to watch. So you'll either get periodic updates or if I don't even think that when I'm half, what I might do is like I did before, I'll do half and then we'll come back and then you'll see the full difference. I think that looks still better. What I might do is maybe right up in the corners. So that block, that's not ideal, is it? Okay, now what was I saying? So I want to put a light source in on that block and on that block in all the corners because I think everywhere else should get some... We'll work it out. That's something that I'm going to have to look into and that's something I'm going to have to think about, but I don't think it's going to be that hard to work out, is it? So either we'll see you halfway through or we'll see you when it's over. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? I see you up there. So I was going to definitely show it halfway and I just finished this corner and I was like, okay, cool, we're halfway. And apparently I've done it all and I don't know how that happened. I, I must have gotten halfway and not realized. So then when I was doing the other half, I wasn't thinking like how quickly it was going. I'm an idiot basically. So here it is done. And I really do think that already, even these corners might not need anything it actually now that everything is opened up it actually looks really bright in here which is quite nice we'll have all these walls to have actual stuff in and it'll look really cool from above i still need to do the middle here do i have that because i might stagger it because it is kind of like a pipe take off the bottom layer i'll work it out but you know my bad i work apparently too quickly for my own good I think that is the middle bit completed. I like the way that it's staggered. I think that looks really nice. Then everything in here should be done. Let's go take a look from upstairs. Yeah, I think that looks much better. It doesn't look too chunky. Everything looks really nice. The middle bit here looks fine. I think all of that looks good. I'm very happy with how we've done that. There's a zombie nearby. Oh, I don't have the nervous disposition for this. <sighs> Honestly. What I was going to say is now I think I'm going to jump into the creative world. I'll show you how... <laughs> now there's water on my screen. We'll jump into the creative world. I'll show you the idea that I had for my smelter. And then I will probably show you how to make my banner. Let's go. Welcome back to creative. Now, where are we? This design here was basically pointless. So then I made something like this. Ignore all the different blocks I was panicking and I was just throwing in anything that I wanted. Hopefully now for the 900th time, this might actually work. How am I missing a furnace? Anyway, so we'll put that there. This is this is how it happened. So this is why everything's a mess. 
I keep breaking blocks and then I keep replacing them with nonsense. So anyway, you put your sand in here, it drops down, it goes in there. You put your coal in here, it goes into the chest in the back. You flick on your coal, you see the minecart going, you see these filling up with coal. This is on 16, it'll roll over, it's on 17. You hit this one, it goes across. And this one doesn't light up. It's because I forgot to take the coal out. And then it just goes back and forth. And then everything starts to fill up. I think the perfect setup for it is something like 28 or maybe 24 furnaces. We have 15, I think. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We have 12 because my walls are 19 long. So that's all we can do. Then to turn it off, you just flick that. You flick that. You see it coming back. It stops. The one behind it stopped. And then you get all your glass. It's not the fastest. It's not the best. It's working with the knowledge that I have. So that's going to be getting constructed sometime soon. It'll either be... I don't think it'll be in this episode because I have been having an absolute horrendous time with editing and my clips. And without going into too many details, just for some reason when I'm uploading it into Adobe Premiere, the clips are just going out of sync. So instead of just creating clips and then editing them. Some of them I'm having to do voiceovers. Some of them I'm having to just completely record again. It has been an absolute nightmare, to put it simple. I just, I don't know why, but the show must go on. Hey, hi, hello, it's me, Future Mark here, currently post-editing. The next couple of clips you're about to see are me explaining where the blocks went when we started the clip about the furnace. I realized that me explaining it is me explaining a clip that you guys didn't get to see because it was one of the ones that desynced. So I thought I would do this and kind of explain what happened. I know exactly what it was. <laughs> I've just, ah, oh, so this one, I was standing here telling you about how it had gone and I was going bang, bang, bang when I was talking about the signs. I was just destroying everything. I'm not a good person, am I? What is happening here then? Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you how to make my banner. Just, I think it's cool. Okay, sue me. Basically, you need to start with a magenta banner, obviously. And then you want to put on a pink base gradient twice. Do that, take that. Then you wanna put it back in. You wanna do that again. Next is a yellow rondelle, which looks a little bit something like this. If you're wondering where I'm getting these names from, these are the official Minecraft wiki names. Then you want to do the same again, but with a orange rondelle. Then what you want to do is a purple perfez inverted. Looks a little bit something like that. And then to finish it off, you want to do a magenta chevron, which looks a little bit something like that. You take it out, and there you have my banner. And we're back. So I know today's episode has been kind of all over the place. Possible with some sections that were maybe too long, others that were too short. Realistically, I had about four hours of content recorded and set up and ready to go, and only about 45 minutes of it, maybe an hour of it, was actually usable. Videos desyncing just sucks. It's really, really annoying. Hopefully in the future it's avoidable, or at the very least, I now know that after every video I've recorded, just check it, make sure it's fine, instead of recording for multiple hours and then finding out that it doesn't work. Unfortunately, though, that does mean that it is all I have time for today, just because I started... What day is it today? It is Thursday. I started recording almost immediately after I uploaded episode three, which was Tuesday afternoon. I'm trying to do this off the top of my head. My memory is horrible, which means I've been recording this for quite a long time. I, I was going to try and get this up about six o'clock tonight. Unfortunately, it's going to have to go up on Friday. So when you're watching this, it'll be Friday. It was meant to go up last night, but... It's now half past four on Thursday and I'm still recording and editing. So if you have enjoyed today's hopefully still entertaining episode, please definitely leave a like. If you have really enjoyed it, definitely feel free to subscribe. I'm still gonna be putting out videos as soon as I can. Even if they do take me a little bit longer because I've got to refilm stuff, I'm still gonna be doing it. So having said that, and with that being said, stay out of trouble. Don't do the thing I wouldn't do. And I'll see you later.